Alright, Muichimotsu playing as short a video as I can of Puyo Puyo, the original version. Little slimes dancing around. This made me laugh out loud though, watch. <laughs> they start waving their little slime arms, They're dancing, whatever. You have multiple options. I'm going to take the first one, which is pretty much uh, some, a pseudo copy of Tetris. You can have your uh, things that you drop down be those little Puyos, these slime ball things, I'll call them that. Or you can have little human shaped things, which, yeah, stunned me. But I won't show you because it's pretty boring. It's much more in the game to play with Puyos. And so, yeah, here we go. And yeah, no, those gray ones can be destroyed. There's a, uh, there's later versions of this. I would highly recommend you get like a Genesis emulator or a Super NES emulator and try to play. It was Kirby's Avalanche on Super NES, and they have Super Puyo Puyo on the uh, Genesis, which always tends to work. With uh, Kirby's Avalanche, I wouldn't recommend it as much because Kirby's Avalanche and uh, related ones only work on a particular version of. Super NES, especially ZSNES, if you're wanting to use the uh, ability to record, which unfortunately I haven't figured out how to do. But yeah, on a side note, yeah, uh, if anybody's saved and fallen like Cloud8745, I've noticed that uh, when uh, he and Julie do their co ops and I uh, managed to convert them to AVI, it takes an amazing amount of space. If only because apparently when you convert um, ZSNES to. Um, any kind of format just makes it a, it makes it probably a pretty decent size. There we go. We that's kind of the goal. Of you try to get as many kind of groups of uh, four or more of these uh, puyos, and uh, it's very similar to Tetris. People call it Tetris ripoff to some extent. I'm not certain of that because I think there are certainly nuances. Because, well, you have just two at a time, for one. That's the, certainly something that makes it very unique. And you can uh, place these guys vertically, horizontally. And there's just a lot more interactivity with this game. It's only so much Tetris ripoff. Tetris, of course, the first one to do this, but yeah. Next, and I was trying to figure out how to get out of here, but it turns out you basically have to either uh, purposely lose, which would have taken way too long, or in my case, I just hard reset after stopping the recording for a little bit and then went back to it, which is how you get this nice skip, which I've never been able to do before. This will be the first video where you see the little skippy kind of. This is a two-player. Unfortunately, the, this probably requires a second controller, because as you can see, second player isn't doing jack shit. So, this is going to end really quickly because, of course, the other player doesn't actually exist, which is, yeah, why there are always issues with emulators, particularly with games that generally require you to actually have the, uh, thing functioning with this old battery for example which yeah brings me to um if I eventually was doing Pokemon I would only be doing like Pokemon red or blue or yellow because anything higher tends to involve the Game Boy a lot more no tr no I'm not gonna try again because I'm you know, I had to do another hard reset because of course the second player doesn't exist so, come on All right and you can do missions one player, which is probably the thing that makes you have the most challenge, because these things can fucking scare the shit out of you when you eventually start. Look at it. You wonder, how the hell am I going to do this? Well, first thing, don't block off your yellow. You need to keep that yellow, for example. Alright, alright. Eh. And that. Yeah, well, this should be fine. Watch. No apparent. So I gotta. Never mind, I gotta get the other start. Chain reaction, you get all those. And they're fine. And the music plays, it's pretty cool. I wouldn't recommend this game to someone who is expecting an exact clone of Tetris or anything that necessarily has that kind of idea, but this is actually a pretty difficult game. Like, look, this is the second mission. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm, what am I supposed to do? Uh, I had a chance to save my ass a few times, but eventually... There came to be too many of these damn Puyos on the screen, and I just, was, ugh, I lost. Look, I got this these set of blue. Do do. You just have a very particular chain reaction to get these damn Puyos from um, piling up. Because watch, they pile up too high, and you're just gonna get fucked over. Which is certain, yeah. In the uh, more advanced console versions, you get like this kind of. In this version, no, you don't get anything. You just hear it yourself like oh no I'm gonna lose but another one like this excited kind of music gets playing 
And we're almost done with this uh, no play. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, then I lost. But uh, yeah, expect some theme ones eventually. See you later.